Hi, thank you for visiting my RC channel. My name is Bill and I'm a RC radio control enthusiast and I also do RC reviews. Thank you for joining me for this review of this MJX Bugs 5W B5W 4K version 5G Wi-Fi FPV GPS brushless RC quadcopter drone supplied courtesy of geekbuying.com to review and share with you so first of all comes in this bag so nylon seems waterproof doesn't have a compartment here got two carry handles on it here no compartment at the back zipper in the front and if I open it Your decals, quick start guide, user manual, and comes packaged like this, protected with foam. Also have a zipper compartment to net in the top of the lid. So let me get this all out. So this comes with one, two or three batteries and in the bag. And compared to the previous Bugs 5 that had a 1080p camera, this is the 4K camera. And this takes photos at 38 Four zero by two one six zero p, and video at three eight four zero by two one six zero at sixteen frames per second, and two five six zero by one four zero zero at twenty frames per second. So basically, two point seven k at twenty frames per second. Also has a single servo, so you can adjust the camera down to 90 degrees in flight using the radio controller and then here's an SD card slot at the back here and this takes a maximum 32 gigabyte class 10 and above SD card and for 4k usually a U3 class SD card is best too. The nice style shape and design very similar to the original Bugs 5 version but this comes with a bigger battery a 7.6 volt 2420 mAh LiPo battery that should be good for a flying time of 20 minutes. One must remove this to slot it in the back properly. I won't secure it just yet because once you put it in, it then powers the drone on. Then I got this with two batteries, but unfortunately the additional battery is only a 7.4 volt 1800 mAh battery which is basically the original Bugs 5 1080p version battery that comes with that. So I don't know if this is a mistake, but the problem is also to charge the battery. This is what is used to charge the battery, and it comes with this USB micro to USB cable. And this battery does not fit into this adapter over here. So if you've got an original Bugs 5, you can use an adapter, or if you do get this battery with it by mistake, I think, then you can get these adapters separately to charge this smaller battery.
Uh, this has GPS with return to home, altitude hold with a barometer, one key return by pressing the return to home button on the radio controller, point of interest or circle mode, tap fly or waypoint mode, follow me mode, and fail safe return if the remote control signal is lost for more than six seconds and should also return to the takeoff point when the battery gets too low. And when the battery does get low, you do get an alarm on the radio controller, which is good. And this is only compatible with a 5G Wi-Fi device. So to see if your device is compatible, I'll put a link to this video in the description. And the app for this is called MCRC Pro. If I tap on this, this is the interface. Click on Start, gives the introduction and the features. Access Allow While Using App. Here we get this. We look at settings over here. Yeah, you can set your maximum flight altitude. I'll slide this up here. Maximum altitude is 120 meters. Maximum distance here is 200 meters. Orbit diameter you can set, so I'm going to leave this at 5 meters for default and the return to home altitude 15 but because i fly near trees i'm going to put this up to 30 meters here to do calibrate the compass one would press this and to do gyro calibration press this If I press on here, here we've got the functions for follow me, orbit or circle flight. Oh, it says it's also got headless mode. Don't know how we go and do the waypoint navigation. Just do this. Click on here. Oh, okay, so if I click on the map itself, I can then go and tap and put in waypoints this way. And then click there to come out. You'll see more of how the app works when I do the test flights. So the Wi-Fi FPV range on this should be about 200 to 300 meters. But I think the maximum range that I set seem to be 200 meters and the remote control range using the radio controller should be approximately 600 meters got these nice 2204 1500 kv brushless motors these props Fairly flexible, should be quite durable, but does come with four spare propellers, which is always good. This battery does fit in and work with this, even though this little adapter part doesn't charge with this. So the original version Bugs 5 batteries are compatible and can be used with this. And then this is the radio controller. Now, unfortunately, you can see it's a bit scratched because in the bag, the radio controller actually comes loose. So it's obviously got 
scratch the bits in transit just hope it hasn't damaged the camera but I can't see any visible damage on the camera but it's actually not good that this radio control transmitter comes packaged loose and is placed so close to the camera in the bag it's got these little handles here and then you need to supply your two own two AA batteries they go in the back here this comes up like that and we've got this to put in your mobile device to fly and watch FPV main power button on here nice LED screen giving telemetry on distance and height tells you which mode it's on GPS and you can take it out of GPS mode by going off here and there it says GPS is on should tell us how many satellites it's connected to and which mode it's in battery level of the drone and battery level of the remote controller lock unlock button short press to take a photo long press to take a video here's the return to home button so single press and it should return to home and if for any reason you want to take it out of return to home during the flight you just need to press this again and it'll take it out of return to home this button here is one key takeoff and one key land this rocker switch here is to adjust the camera in flight here you've got the speed button so a long press to change speed you have another long press second speed you have another long press so two speeds a low and a high speed and then this a short press on this will uh, turn the lights on or off both gimbal stick spring loaded got a reasonable feel to it uh, this is the radio controller so this does have a plastic film on it here so if I do take this off it doesn't look too bad also got a plastic film on the lens here now let's take it out see how it performs and what the camera performance will be like too got the bugs 5 4k ready to go so first thing to do push the battery in lock it into position and then with the radio controller you've got to actually Press and hold the lock button and then power it on and release. I'm going to connect to the Wi Fi app. So if I go to Wi Fi settings, I'm going to start my screen recorder first. Wi Fi. Okay, I'm connected to drone 4 hyphen etc there go to the MRC Pro app and open it and it's already prompting me to do the compass calibration but the first thing to do is check the settings so if I click on the cog icon at the top here okay in flight can't be set I click on these two little lines below the video and camera button here are the camera settings and this is where you choose whether you want to record in 2.5k or 4k so I'm going to select 4k go to the camera settings here here you can change settings we've got a bit of a cloudy day today so I'm going to put it on to cloudy day 
I'll just leave the effect there. Go to here and see the memory card is formatted in FAT32 already. Okay, I go out of those settings. Okay, now you see a little envelope here with a red button. Go here. Just place the drone horizontally and rotate it 360 degrees about three circles. So one, two, three. Click on this little envelope again. And it says put the head up and rotate. Okay. One, two, and three. I can see all the lights are solid. So that's fine. I'm going to try and go into the settings again here. And you have a look here. Now to do gyro calibration, I'm going to click on gyro calibration here. And it should calibrate. And it's gone green, so that should be gyro calibrated. Okay, I'm going to unlock motors and press take off. And it's rising up. Okay, I'm going to start video recording. So you can press the big button on here or long press the button on the radio controller. I press it on the radio controller and I can see that video is recording. I'm just going to stop video recording for now. Make sure this is holding steady. The camera angle up a bit. And straight into the sunlight there. Okay, I'm going to take a picture here. Take a picture over here. Take a picture over there. Take a picture there. I'm going to start the video now. Again, and that's video recording. I'm going to take it up, holding nice and steady, those lights are nice and bright. Okay, there I'm at a height of 11 meters. I'm going to do a slow pan for video. This should be recording in 4K. I'm going to take it up higher. Okay, there I'm at a height of 36 meters. I'm going to do another pan for video here. You can get an idea of height and distance and clarity. Looking good on the FPV screen here. Bring it down a bit more. Take it for a little bit of a flight. I'm getting 
a beep beep on the radio controller. Oh, it's saying TX no signal return and I'm not very far, it's only 50 meters away from me. It's still responding, still going, which is fine. Looking good on the FPV screen. Really flies nicely, very smooth. Okay, bring it down some more. impressed with how this flies. Okay. I'm going to bring it in above me. Okay, if I click on here and go into the settings and I try the orbit flight swipe right to go. Okay, so I've actually got to move it away from where I am if I want to get into the picture. It is orbiting nicely. I'm just going to stop it here now, again. Okay, and this time I'm going to take it back. angle the camera down a bit more. Okay, I'm going to do orbits again. Here. Okay. Oh, no, okay, now probably need a bit of a bigger radius to get myself in. But it works fine and the orbit mode works well. Okay, let's try the follow me. So I've got follow me here. Keep pointing at the mobile phone as to there. So I'm going to go to swipe to follow me. And now I'm going to walk towards it. Keeping me in here. Walk a bit quicker. Oh, this follow me is working well. Turn and go back here. Working nicely. You can see myself in the picture quite nicely here. But following well, actually quite quiet. Not very noisy at all. And here I am. That really works nicely. Okay, let's try the headless mode. So I'll put it in front of me. And I'll face it to the le left. I go here. Headless mode. Okay. Now I'm going to push to go forward away from me, and it does, push to come back towards me, go to the right, go to the left, so it doesn't really keep in too much of a straight line, it goes more at an angle, but it does work, so if I face it forward there, I press to go forward, 
It's going in that direction now. Okay, so that's headless mode. Okay, let me take it up and we'll test this waypoint navigation. I want to take it up quite high for that. Visible all the trees around. Okay, there I'm at a height of 31 meters. So now if I click on the map here, Okay, I've got my location. I'm going to go here. Say point. So go there, go there. Come back here. And click on submit. Swipe right to go waypoint. Okay. Going off in that direction, turning, going to waypoint 2, that's it, right, let me go point again, so go there, and then back here, and go submit, and swipe, Turn. Going to waypoint one. Turning around. Going to right now. Going to waypoint two. Okay. So now I'm getting a better idea of this, so if I go point, I'm going to say go right over there and come back here and submit. Oh, this waypoint thing does work well. I'm not covering a big distance. I'll try and zoom the map in a bit more here now. Go waypoint here, go point. And so go there, and then back here, and submit. I'm going to go a further distance now. And it does go quickly. A distance of 47 meters away. 48 meters away, turning around and coming back. Okay, it's saying low battery now, and we've been in the air just over 11 and a half minutes. Shouldn't really have low battery. We'll keep flying it and see what it does. Now this is the bigger battery, so we should really have a lot more flying time. We'll keep video recording. Hey, got solid red lights on the front arms and flashing red lights on the back arms while it's in low battery warning but we all want to see what it's going to do when the battery gets too low to return to home let's see how far it'll go as well with low battery oh, over 50 meters so it doesn't restrict the distance on low battery just want to get out of this map mode here. I click on home and start and next. Oh dear, not so easy to get out of this map mode. Oh, 
Let's just keep flying it. I really enjoy flying this. This really flies nicely. Responds well. Quiet, smooth. And if I stop it, you see how it holds. Holds very stable. Knowing that I can't see my FPV and get out of this map mode now. Maybe if I reduce it, I can. Oh, okay, I am back. Sorry, my mistake. I thought I was still in the map mode, but it is the FPV, because I've got the camera at that angle there. Just put the camera up a bit more so it looks a bit better. Okay, there we go. I still got low battery alarm. And now I'm getting a long beep. Slowing down and wanting to land, but not returning to home. I stop the clock and say 15 minutes flying time with the video recording throughout. I'm going to stop recording video. Okay, I've got the other battery in now, but there's a message coming up on the app here that says that the battery will only support. Uh, height of 10 meters and a range of 100 meters. Let me just do the compass calibration again. Okay, we've got solid lights, so that should it all be done. Let me do a gyro calibration. Doing gyro calibration. Gyro calibration done. Go back into the settings here. Let's go maximum flight altitude. I'm going to put it up to maximum. Put it up to maximum flight distance. Leave orbit there. Return to home altitude. I want to put up higher. About 25 meters. Go OK. Everything OK there. And that's the log. Update the data. Okay, so after each flight, it'll revert and want to record automatically in 2.5k. This time I'm going to leave it in 2.5k. I'm still going to say it's a cloudy day because it is. Let me start motors and take off. Okay, so although that message came up about 10 meters and that, let me start recording video again. That's video recording. Okay, there are, I'm at a height of 21 meters. Now I'm going to push ahead for range, see how much Wi-Fi FPV we, range we get, and see if it returns to home. If it does go out of range, you press ahead and go forward. Goes fast. I'm at 40 meters. Okay, there I'm at 50 meters. I still got Wi-Fi FPV. 
Pulls the camera down just oh, too much. Go ahead. Okay, there I'm over 100 meters. Still got Wi Fi FPV. Go ahead. There, I'm over 150 meters. Now it's saying not connected. I'm just going to see what it does. Because, in theory, if it's not connected for longer than six seconds, it should return to home. Not doing anything. I'm going to try and push forward some more. It is going forward, but I've lost Wi Fi FPV at 150 meters. Now I know the edge of this field is about 300 meters away I'm still going to push it ahead Oh, I'm well over 250 meters there now Still within range, can still see it but being a bit of a cloudy day I can't see it that well Go ahead a little bit more Okay, yeah, I'd say it's 300 meters away. So now I'm going to press return to home. Long press on return to home. Not returning to home, perhaps because it's not connected. Try and turn it around and bring it back now. Is coming back. I am concerned that it didn't go return to home. And I see video is not recording either, so we might have lost the video to check the distance. I'm going to bring it back closer to me. I've got it above me or just in front of me now and I've got Wi-Fi FPV back All right, so I'm going to take it forward again oh see video is still recording I'll take it to less than 150 meters away this time Okay, now I'm at 125 meters and I've still got Wi Fi FPV. I'm going to press return to home now. And now it says it's returning. It's going up and coming back. So probably it means that it loses signal for about six seconds. So it's a uh, signal with the radio controller, but it didn't do that and it went to about 300 meters. Could still see it, so within line of sight, it is good. Return to home now, it's above me. Let's see what it's going to do. It's holding there for now. Now it says landing and it's coming down. Okay, now the video recording goes in segments, I see. Coming down nicely and steady. I'm going to land very, almost exactly where it took off. So good accuracy there. I'm going to take it out of return to home. Take off again. Now I'm just going to fly it and see how much flying time I can get on this battery. Ok, 
Okay, this is a speed here, but if I long press the return to home button, I'm going to want to return to home. I thought they could adjust the speed. No, the speed's a different one. I'm going to take it out of that. A long press on the speed, or let me bring it down again. I'm getting this confused with another drone. Okay, I'm going to long press on the speed button on the top here. Two beeps. Oh, and this is a faster speed. And it is quick. Still smooth. Still responds well. Looks good. And this is in the fast speed. Put it back to the slow speed, which is actually not really that slow. One beep. And yeah, that is it slower. I'm just going to bring it overhead here and press, short press this button on the top right for lights and see what it does. Oh, still got lights on. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the light button is all about. Anyway, let's just carry on flying. See how much time I get on this battery. Still recording video throughout. Been in the air nearly eight minutes. And I'm saying low battery for this battery, and this is on 10 minutes. Still going to see what's going to happen. Okay, now I'm getting a long beep for low battery. And... 15 minutes, 18 seconds. So, 15 mi also 15 minutes on the smaller battery. Okay, I've got another battery in now, and I'm just going to do a test and take it away and switch off the radio controller and see what it does if we lose range. So, start up. Take off. Just going to take it up here. Oh, it wants to respond well here. Yeah, there I'm at a distance of 28 meters, a height of 4 meters. Take it a bit higher, height of 6 meters. Going to turn the radar controller off. Thousand one, thousand and two, thousand and three. Okay, and it's going to return to home. So if it does lose signal with the radio controller, it does return to home. Bring it in, let it land. And here it comes down. I turn on the radio controller again. The light. Coming into land. So great couple of flights, all the functions and features work well.
A little bit less than expected flying time, but 15 minutes is still a good flying time taking video throughout. Doesn't return to home automatically on low battery, but you get low battery warning five minutes in advance, which is good and plenty of time to bring it back and close in, in range. And good to see that if it does lose signal with the radio controller, it does return to home automatically. Let me go and have a look at the video and I'll wrap this up on the bench. I did another flight taking video without cloudy settings as you can see in this short clip the cloudy setting is a, but a bit too much white balance as you saw the 4k is good with nice contrast and definitions but unfortunately due to the camera mount still gives some judders and jello but better props may help this too I will put a link in the description below this video to a full 4k 2160p video clip taken with this and there are a few photos shared at the end of this too So, please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.